I've started to set up the music cave a little bit, so because we made space in the front area, I got all these IKEA shelves. I moved one over from inside the store there. I'll show you that bit next or later. And they're not organized, but I've just been filling these with records. I've started bringing all the CDs over here. I'm gonna put records in that brown shelf because I do have some more. And then I put these back to back so that I realized you only need to look from one side, but I don't really know how sturdy these IKEA shelves are because there's a few pieces missing. And I feel like all that weight leaning to one side needs a wall to lean against. So I might end up building some stronger shelves. There's some out there made of concrete blocks and really strong wood, but um, for now at least, the music cave has started to take shape a little bit. We'll have cassettes back here as well, so I'll need to figure that out. Maybe that brown shelf on the right could be for cassettes. Um, and this is not its final form, obviously, but that pretty much took a day to get those records back there. I'm just moving all the books around, and as I'm taking these off, well, they said, um, records on before so it's really bent the shelves and the back was falling off i'm trying to keep these two as a pair so i started nailing it together and i've noticed it's not quite straight so the left side you can see the back there the front is totally i mean the top is totally straight but it's leaning way, 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 way to the left. And I think it's because of the bottom. So I'm just gonna screw it into the wall and then take this one with the books on and screw it to the side, put some support underneath. And I've checked that the shelf and the top is straight. So we'll give it, uh, I think if we're gonna talk about this in human years, we're gonna say that this cabinet is in its 85th year. I think shelving and dogs are the same kind of thing. It's 85 in shelving years, just like how I think dog years is one year for every seven human years. All right, let's see how it looks at the end. I've done some more shuffling around and this is the new book nook and electronics area. There's still some books on the right that I've got to move over and I've realized we have a lot more books than how many bookshelves I've brought, but I think that glass cabinet on the left might end up being a part of the book nook as well. Maybe that could be the kids section or something, but it's got glass shelves, so it's not really good for a lot of weight. It's more designed for glass stuff, but, um, yeah, the nice thing about starting from scratch is you can measure all the shelving and make sure it fits exactly how you want it. So um, since this was a pair, I kept them together. I don't want to have too many higgledy piggledy shelves. And then that set of three over there, we had at home and we weren't using them. So that's kind of maxed out the books. I'll just switch sides here. So that's the corner where the books were before and this window was totally buried so I dug that out get some natural light in I think just while I'm working on eBay and stuff we might actually just use this desk for a work area for now um, yeah that's a little little more progress so there's the books don't worry, it's not going to stay like that. I'm going to organize it by book type. Well, actually, if we're listing stuff on eBay, we're going to list it alphabetically. But for the books that are going to be in the store, then we'll come up with some kind of homemade Dewey Decimal system. Okay, I'll let you know what we do next. That took another day, by the way, to do all this. But I didn't want to do a six hour time lapse so I thought I'd just show you the end result
This will be the last part for today. I took these shelves that used to be in the window and I found the bottom shelf, which is in the kitchen. And this is gonna be the tool area. So before this was full of records and there was clothes in front of it. But I have dug it out. That's where I took the desk from. And this white bookshelf fits nicer on the left there. It's pretty much perfect size. The wooden shelves right at the back are really strong. So I thought that would be good for tools. I put this little cabinet right in front just for some extra space. Um, obviously I'm gonna clear off all the speakers and things that shouldn't be there, but I've got lots of these black trays. So I thought maybe that would be a good way to make this look uniform if all the black trays fit nicely on the back shelves. And then on these side shelves could be little trays for screws or knickknacks or whatever. If people need to buy stuff like that, I guess it's an alternative to the hardware store, but it just depends what random things we get in. Um, there's lots of floor space. I've taken out the carpet tiles there and most of the store actually. I think there's about 20 left to find. Um, and then there's the pickboard that we can hang a few things on above, but um, yeah, I kind of think that's it for today. I've got this big pile of tools to go through tomorrow and find some space for them. Right now they're in a pile and tomorrow they won't be in a pile anymore. So I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, I'm just at my storage locker and thankfully all the seats go down in our van because I've got a huge backlog of CDs and DVDs. So it's nice that Amazon's reactivated again. That's really helping us along. And I thought it would be smart to be sending something each month to Amazon just to refresh the pile. So let's see how many we can get in here this time. Part of the idea here is to find the floor in the shipping container because I'm moving all the Christmas stuff into here. And now that we've got the store, I want to get this stuff out of here. Um, I bought a very, very full shipping container of stuff from somebody. And um, yeah, it's a huge backlog of inventory. It's kind of the, the future of the store so that there's wave after wave of new product coming. But as you can see, there's a lot to go through. Okay, we're fully loaded. If there's any hydration drink or energy drink companies out there that want to sponsor my YouTube channel, I think I'd be the perfect example of a sweaty person who needs hydration. So anyway, yeah, the, that is tons of stuff in that collection. It was, um, the opportunity came up about a month before I even saw the store and it was just too good of a price to miss out on. It's, it's like 60 years worth of uh, music collection. Apparently the story is there was a, a drummer that was on tour with all different bands and he would just um, collect all this stuff. Anyway, they sold off some things and this stuff I got for a, an amazing price. It was a lot of work, but it was it was basically in multiple sea containers, shipping containers, and we moved it all into one, and then I took over renting that space so that I didn't have to deal with it all right away. That was just gonna be like the next year's supplies worth of stuff. Um, so what I did this time, because I want, it's, it's really full, like it's right to the ceiling on the one side, and it goes right to the back, and then down the other side, it's about half height, like maybe five feet high, but um, there's obviously tons of items to go through and to take a picture of every single one on eBay is tons of work. So I grabbed everything with a barcode and we're gonna get some stuff sent off to Amazon. Okay, so we're back at the store. Hayden's helping me out. We're loading up Christmas and Halloween stuff from the kitchen because we want to have some space in there. That's gonna be a private, back room and um, 
Hayden's off school, so he's helping me out here. Running back and forth, but piece of solid advice. You're never too young to use a dolly to save your back. Even though you think, oh, I can carry that, it's better to make it as easy as possible. Um, I think you only got 10,000 uses of your back in your life, so here he goes. So Hayden, I was just saying, you're never too young to use a dolly, okay? You gotta save that back. This one's a bit heavy, but save your back a little bit and uh, use a dolly, it's way better. Yeah, I'm back at the store again. Um, and you might think it's lots of back and forth, but sometimes that's just what you've got to do. Uh, my idea is just to keep moving things around, um, clear space here, move things there, get them all together. Cause I want to end up with um, all similar things together. So all the records in one place, if I'm going to spend time organizing them, I may as well make sure I've got every single one in the right place. And to do that, we need that those Christmas things out of there. So while I'm here, I decided uh, I've got a few boxes of DVDs and CDs that I hadn't scanned yet. And I just wanted to be confident that everything in the store has been scanned for Amazon. And I was in this filing cabinet and found one of my, no, I shouldn't say one of my, my all time hero, one of our sons is named after him. Looking for Eric, the legendary Eric Cantona, here hiding in this filing cabinet. I couldn't believe it. As soon as I saw that badge, that's one of the first jerseys or shirts that I ever had as a kid. Maybe I'll pop up a picture of me wearing that same shirt. Um, but yeah. I was really excited to find this. And I've never seen this film. Um, I don't know if he's actually in it, but maybe I'll watch it while I work. And if you don't know Eric Cantona, look him up. Well, it's just teed up for Cantona. Oh! A real cracker from Cantona! Okay, that about wraps up our day. The days go so fast, it's crazy. I think that's what all old men say, but anyway, it's definitely true because I feel like that was a really fast day, but when I think about it, we did get a lot done. Um, I've loaded up the Christmas stuff, ready to take down to the storage locker tomorrow, and that's all the Christmas things. And then while I'm down there, I need to make some space anyway, so I'll grab anything with a barcode that is uh, well, at least CDs or DVDs and try and get a really nice Amazon stack going. Um, I scanned uh, through the filing cabinet and two large boxes that I hadn't done yet at the store, at the store so I um, probably found about 45 or 50 things to send to Amazon. Um, was good and yeah then tomorrow I'm gonna go back to the store again and rip out the carpet and get the rest of the carpet tiles and some other stuff that I've been keeping to one side and do a dump run and then probably we'll just stay at home for a few days and work on that Amazon batch Anyway, if you like this kind of content, you know, it's nothing too crazy happening, but I'm just sharing my regular day in the life of a reseller. Um, and yeah, just trying to push all our things forward at the same time. I, I do eBay listings every day because I don't want to neglect that. But at the same time, we can't just focus on only eBay or the thrift store is never going to open. And we can't neglect Amazon because that will just sell down and down and down and then grind to a halt. So all you have to do is everything all the time and everything will be totally fine. Just kidding. Yeah, as long as you do a little bit of each thing, nudge each thing forward, make progress daily as the that YouTube guy says, what's his name? Daily Refinement. 
make progress daily. I, I definitely like that catchphrase and um, thanks for sharing that, Chris. Check out that guy's channel if you're interested in reselling. I think he doesn't do eBay anymore, but he's got loads of advice. He shares his experience about reselling and his journey through that. Uh, his name's or his YouTube handle is Daily Refinement. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, keep watching, subscribe, hit the like button, throw us a little comment, let us know some of your feedback, and um, have a great day.